Hi, Ann Cornick from Paint and Porcelain. Um, we're going to talk about tiles today. You can buy these tiles anywhere, but they're a cheap, inexpensive way to get started with china painting. They have to be porcelain. You want a china tile that will fire really well for you. You get two kinds of finishes. This is the matte finish. If you paint on a matte finish, you better be pretty good because as you go along, you can't just wipe off a small section. For some reason, the paint sticks a little more to this, so if you make a mistake, you have to use your mineral spirits or turpentine, wipe it all off and start over again. So I'm going to be using a, um, a glazed, the shiny kind. You can see the shine on there. That's the kind that I'm going to be using today. And you can buy these at your local hardware. Like I said, you can get them at Restore. You can get them at tile shops. They come in many sizes. You want white. If you use another color, your china paint might turn colors on you and not come out exactly the way you'd like it to. The other thing I want to tell you is you can get it in two sizes. You can get it in this size and the 6x6. Six six. And the reason the 4x4 four four and the 6x6, six six, that's a rough estimate of the size, are so nice is that when you go to resale shops, a lot of times you find trivets, old trivets. And here's an example of one that I found at a local resale shop. And uh, what you want to be able to do is, uh, since this one's so cute and it looks like a little teapot, I'm going to break the, the current tile out, then paint my own and put it in. And then I'll give it as a gift to my friend who hosts our tea parties uh, on a monthly basis. You can find these anywhere. You can also find frames that'll fit the six, six by six tiles, which are really nice. Ikea makes, a, or used to make, uh, a small mirror that fit the four by four, and it had a big, wide, um, almost like a, a four inch wide border around it. So if you painted something and then put it in that frame and broke out the mirror and put it in that frame, you got a really, really nice um, uh, picture to hang on your wall. I'm going to put this away. Now, if you want to buy more expensive tiles, you can. Um, this is an example of what we call a tea tile. It has a nice border on it, and uh, you can buy these at like Dallas, China, or Maryland, China. Uh, if you do paint something from a China company, check the back. If there's a, a sticker on the back and you don't take it off, it will fire in, it will smell awful, and it will make a big mark, and it may even come through onto the front of your china. These are a lot more expensive than just the 99 cent uh, 4x4 tile you can get at the hardware. So I would start with the hardware tiles and then when you work up to these, you'll have a nice piece. Plus this one automatically gives you a border and some of them even have holes in the back that you can hang on the wall. Hi, I hope you enjoyed the program and I hope that you will watch future programs by liking and subscribing to my page. If you do subscribe, I would really appreciate it so that other people who have a similar interest will be able to see more of this kind of programming. I have studies available at my website along with products. If you're interested in finding out more about those, please look at the description box below. Thank you.